All right, what's up? It is party time for the release of the 87519, and I'm in Tribeca, and let's head over to the shop and check it out. Today I am in Central Park to review the 875 and the 87519. It's a perfect day because it's overcast so the light is completely even and so this would be a good judge as to uh, the leathers because I was in Red Wing, a guy walks in, I think I, I uh, had a reply to a comment and said the same thing. So a guy walks into Red Wing wearing his 875s and he's super eager about the 87519. He said, I wore these because I wanted to compare the leathers. And he said, man, they're really close. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you uh, what they look like together side by side. And then you guys can make that decision. Now I'll tell you this, well, I'll let you make this decision. We'll get to it. But it's a beautiful day in New York City. Okay, so for the occasion today, I'm wearing the Red Wing 214, which I just pulled out of the box, and I'll show you what they look like. I just pulled these out of the box, and um, extremely comfortable out of the box. Probably. <laughs> I don't think I want to take these off now that I put them on and the colors pretty kick ours. I haven't reviewed these first time I've worn them. Um, I only tried them on once and um, they're really nice. But yeah, we'll get to the review for those soon. Okay, so here we have the 875 and the 87519 side by side in natural light for a comparison of the leathers. So this is the Oro Legacy leather on the 875. And this is the oral harness leather on the 87519. So if you took mink oil and placed it on the 875, your leather would look basically like this. So that's kind of like the biggest. Or actually the closest. These leathers are. You could achieve you could achieve this leather with this boot if you wanted to. And I wore these yesterday. It rained really hard yesterday in New York City, and I wore these, and these got soaked. So uh, the the leather did get uh, slightly darker than than oral, but these are breaking in really nicely. So now let's talk about some of the other differences in the the new ex limited boot. The first thing is the boot is limited. Once the boot sells out, that's it. It's gone and there are no more. They've made as many as they're gonna make and that's it. So that is one attractive detail about this uh, new boot. Also, if you look at the, the piping, this is a brown piping and this has a black. I call, I call it piping, it's also called a cuff black cuff on the limited edition, brown on the 875. Now also, I removed the laces and put different laces, but these come with leather laces, like I said, and then Tazlin laces. Now let's 
talk about the speed hooks. So you're gonna get speed hooks with this new boot and also the sizes. Let's undo this and we'll show you. You have the sizing on the 875 in the inside of the boot and on the limited edition, you have the sizing on the tongue like the Irish Setter Mox, limited Mox that came out. You have the same kind of sizing on there, which is a nice touch. And then you also have this really cool Red Wing logo stitched on in the inside of the tongue instead of the sizing. So that's another detail that's different on these. And if you look at the sole of the boot, you see this on the, uh, the welt has a brown line, a dark, very dark brown line going alongside the welt. And this one does not have that. So that's another detail in comparison of these. So I can understand if you have the 875 why you would pass on the 87519. I can understand because they are similar in certain cases. In others, I can see why you'd want the boot because it's quite commercial. It's an attractive boot and it's limited. So that's going to make it a collector's and if you bought it, you could probably sell it if it was in decent condition, you could probably sell it for close to what you bought it. So I can see the pros and the cons for going out and owning this boot. I've been wearing it for about a day now. I'm loving it actually. Just as much as I love these. The 875s are a true classic and a Red Wing bestseller. And the guys at Red Wing told me that these boots are selling quite quickly. And um, I can understand it. It's, it's very easy sell. It's a very cool wearable boot. It's not too flashy. And so I can understand the appeal. And um, these boots are going fast. So if you do want to get in on it, you should get it before you're looking on eBay or uh, trying to track it down elsewhere <laughs> on Grailed or something. So uh, yeah, there you have it, the comparison. 875-87519. Also one side note, um, when I was in Red Wing yesterday, I showed them my stitching here is coming undone and he's like, oh, it's the glue. He's like, just I'll bring them in and uh, we'll send them to get re-glued. So if you have uh, this issue with your um, mock toe, it's just the glue and then they will take it and um, redo the glue for you. So these uh, happened um, straight out of the box really. They kind of like had this like separation co going on. So um, I'll bring them in probably next week and have them uh, send them to Red Wing to get, uh, get that touched up. So that is the comparison of the 875 and the 87519. I hope that I have, uh, if you're sitting on the fence, I have convinced you one way or the other. Um, but I know that it, they are very close leathers. Um, being that it's limited, I think it may sway folks one way or the other. Uh, the other thing that may sway you is the price. Um, but um, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.